hello in this video and you'll see uh, I'll put links in the description and put up but uh, history May's channel I'll link his um, uh, channel link and also uh, a video called unexplained unexplained symbols found in the stepped pyramid and where he's looking at and a related video uh, mason marks now he's speaking about the step pyramid and he um, goes into uh, Petri and some other but uh, whether those marks I, I can't speak on those I haven't looked into the antiquity uh, of them back to the step pyramid but just I want to show the geometry of these symbols which is in mason marks which have passed through uh, across time and I'll just be doing this with compass and straight edge and showing so essentially it's from the vesica uh, Pisces, Vesica Piscus, the vessel of the fish, also called the um, mandala, very important geometry symbolically speaking, but also in uh, pure geometry, like for instance Euclid, this is a template, this is uh, geometry, is well the term sacred geometry, but really relates to Euclidean geometry, because uh, without the geometry there is nothing to it, it is um, supposition so begin with the vesica and i won't do them in the exact order he's shown them so I'll, I'll do one of the marks first mark number five and so compass and straight edge now you could use a rule as long as you don't use the rules of compass and straight edge but you can make a ruler very easily once you have a straight edge that's just the uh, old school of maths but i'll be using a piece of wood just to be a purist and we'll begin with the first symbol. So I'm going to start with a construction line, which is also always very helpful. And I'm going to be in camera, yes. And so firstly, we draw a vesica, which is a, we're not changing the compass setting. The center of the second circle on the edge of the first. And so now we have the Vesica Pisces, the vessel of the fish. If I was to turn that sideways, you see that fish mark. This is using Christian symbolism, and you'll find it all over the world, really, because the Vesica leads to the seed of life and fruit of life, flower of life designs, which can be, again, all over the world, uh, ancient world. So now if we add another circle, we have a double Vesica. Okay, my line should have gone a bit longer, but I don't actually need it for this. So, and now we're going to add one more one more vesica. Yep, they're showing up clear enough. And so this is symbol number four. Sorry, symbol number five in the uh, video. I'll put the screenshot over the top of this. And so I'll just, okay, so point A, B, C, D, E, and F. So just where the circles intersect. And I can actually do two birds, okay, now I'll do it separate so it doesn't mark. So we start at point C, C, we're going to go to point B. Uh, just uh, if you're not familiar, put your pencil, text, or pen on the point that you want, and then you can set your ruler it's just, to, just to help with those lines. Now from C to F. And now from E to D, or D to E. now from A to D. Okay, so very simple. We have four circles, the construction line. That would be symbol number five shown in uh, those uh, mason marks. I'll do symbol number four next because that's uh, the easiest of them. And so, do I have a marker? Okay, so when, when you're drawing the vesica, the flower of life, 
it's essentially it's all of it is built on equilateral triangles so that's an equilateral triangle all the angles are equal therefore all the edge lengths are equal so symbol number five is basically the same as uh, symbol number four but I'll be drawing it to keep that scale and I'll so I want to keep them scaled the same and so we need to actually make sure I can fit that in again begin with a construction line now we don't actually need to do an equilateral triangle you don't need all four of these but I just want to keep it to scale and so we First circle, oh, let me change the inks running low. I'll do those again just to, I'm not sure if they'll show up, so I just want to I'll pick the one that's got the bad ink as well. So we just repeat that. We're going to do the four circles again. Now we already have a equilateral triangle in there, but I'll just begin just to keep it the same size. And now I'm going to mark point A point B and point C and now from this we go A to B and then B to C and C to A okay so that would be symbol number And next I'll do symbol number two. And I'm gonna shift the paper across, so now I'm just gonna use a bit of white paper. And begin with a construction line. Let me change this. Oh, that construction line should show up. Symbol number two. Or Mason mark number two. Once more, we just draw a Vesica Pisces. circles point A point B C and D and then I'm going to create some other because I'll start at point A to B point C to D and now we would have point where the construction line runs through, point E and point F. And there we have the H sign. Now I'll do symbol eight of those, and it's gonna be, it's exactly the same construction. 
but just with a slightly different. So instead of creating an H, we're going to do an F. Then we begin with a vesica. And now a double vesica. And we have all that we need to do that point uh, mark number eight that he shows. I might go to the same set so point A, B, C, and D. So we go A to B and then C to D. Now we need to create, so now that would be point E again and point F. Instead this time we just go from point A to D. Oops, I messed that up. went too far so I actually needed to go point A to B, E to F and A to D. So we get the F there. So anyway if you essentially it's the same thing as the, uh, the H there we've just done a uh, different variation but that this F would be point uh, mark number eight. The H would be mark number two. Uh, the next one I'll do is number six. And I'll add some stuff to that because mark number six is what I've called the the goat's head pentagram. And again, it's from the Vesica. It's basically, it's a variation of the Star of David or the hexagram, hexagon. The construction line. And to do this one, I actually want to go vertical. But it's exactly the same. The Vesica, the edge of the first circle on the edge, edge of the uh, center of the second circle on the edge of the first. I need some new markers. It seems running low. And now we have six points we're going to need. Uh, A, B, C, D, E and F. And I'll draw out, because we have the Star of David here, or the um, Star of Life sort of thing as well. So I'm going to go point so point B to point E and now we have a equilateral triangle let's turn that upside down so equilateral triangle just like the earlier mark And now we'll do the same, so we're going to go A, C, E, and then back to A again. And now we have the uh, Star of David. So we have a six-pointed star, but what we need to do is create a five-pointed star, which is uh, truncated. to do that from the top so if 
So now I'm going to go from point C to F. Yeah, that shows up. And basically go from across the center from start at uh, point to point. Now, and so now we can, we have the essence to create mark number six, which is, a, I'm calling it a goat's head pentagram. So E to B, C to F. A to E, A to C, and B to F. So now you see there's a five pointed star. All the inks run dry. Mark that out. That would be symbol number six. Uh, symbol number seven, which is a sort of an hourglass pattern. Uh, it's the same principle, so all from the variations of the Vesica Pisces, the Mandala, Vessel of the Fish, various names. And I'm going to do a double Vesica again. So it's exactly the same style as this one, this one, or this one, the double Vesica. That again, I slip the compass point. Construction line. I'm going to change this one. Okay, construction line. Double Vesica. Oops, that's a little bit out there, but you'll get the point. So now we have the uh, double Vesica again, and we can. Oh, there's a blue pen. Should be okay. And now we basically just need to do the uh, Star of David pattern. If you do it this way, you'll get the traditional size, but we can do it. So point A, B, C, D, E, and F. And so we just skip one. So we go point B to F, F to D, and D to B. Now we have an equilateral triangle again, and we just repeat that, skip every second one, so E to C, so now we have a six-pointed star, we've divided the circle up into six equal points. And so now, uh, okay, so point G, point H, I, wherever the, the trough is, wherever these triangles intersect, I, J, K, and point L. And so now we're just going to go 
but we're bisect essentially bisecting it, so point L to I, and we'll start from the outside of the circle, and point H to K, you can use the whole circle, and G to J, so again we're going through the center of that uh, central circle, So now we have, we've divided the circle into 12. Okay, now. So now I'm gonna number, uh, name a number of other points. So we start with M, so, okay, M, N, O, P, Q, and R. So now we need to basically do another star of David and divide it up into a 12 pointed star. So we have the 12 points. So this time again, we just skip every third. So I'm going to start with O and go to Q. From O to M. And from M to Q. And again, we've just drawn another equilateral triangle O Q M or M O Q and now we just repeat that again we're going to so we go from P to R R to M N for Nelly and then N to P Okay, so now we have a 12-pointed star, which is a good way to draw a clock. I'll drop some links for some other videos uh, are going to this geometry and all the stuff that uh, you can extract from it. So we have a 12-pointed star now. And where did we leave? We left, the last one was R. So this will be point S. Right. I won't name them in sequence because now it's getting... So from point S, basically, just run through the center to find your the opposite there. Now we'll be doing the same on, I'll call that point T. We just run through the center and we find our opposite. Now along the construction line, so let's call that point U. We run through the center of U when we find the opposite. And this would be point V run through the center, we find that opposite. So now we have all of those elements we need to draw symbol number seven. And so let's begin with point S and we just find the center of it, run through the center of that circle. And I'm gonna again start at the outside of this circle, point T. Again, running through the center. So all your points is already made here. So there's the line across. And just to highlight this. That's the first part of point seven. And now from point U, Again, just using those indentations, troughs that we've already got from the 12-pointed star. We go through the center and then from point V. And essentially what you're drawing here is a Templar cross. You've I'll throw this in. So that would be point seven of those mason marks. And it's also the, again, the, the Templar cross. If I was to draw a little, uh, again, links in the description to other videos where I show it, you know, to do it properly with geometry, but just imagine if we do those indentations. And there we have 
his famous Templar cross symbol, 30 degrees. Now you could actually even make a pendulum. If so, if you make this one meter long, 30 degree pendulum, you also have a timepiece that's very accurate to create a one second long pendulum. Okay, last one. There are a few others to go in there. Okay, I'm actually going to leave it at this. There is one, a few other marks there. Uh, they're not... Well, you can draw them from the Vesica, but they're a little bit more complex. Just to, wanted to, just to show the point, we have these mason marks, all from the Vesica Pisces. So we can do different symbols. And also those original ones, all from those mason marks and Euclidean geometry. So there, again, there's uh, a channel's called Sacred Geometry Decoded because it's decoded is because it's uh, you can uh, it's it's geometry. Geometry is the key word. It should be small letters, sacred geometry, in big capital letters. That's the the basis of it. There is without the geometry, there is nothing to it. Okay, I'll put links in the description and show the uh, screenshot of uh, History Mazes video on the, on the marks at the at Sakara. Cheers and have a good one.